Graham is heading to Birmingham to meet Debbie. Bless you. When her Jack Russell passed away, she hoped her new pooch would become her little cuddle companion. Good girl, lie down then. But Boots had other ideas. <laughs> Boots doesn't like to be touched. She snarls as she shows her teeth and then she spins and bites her tail. Come on then. Good girl. Debbie's tried almost everything. <laughs> but Boots continues to refuse her affection. She's bitten my fingers Ugh. too many times to count. And those teeth are sharp. That's not a pretty face, is it? That reaction was just me putting my hand out. She, she sees it as some sort of threat. As, as touchy. Debbie had hoped she could give Boots a better life. She belonged to a, an ex-work colleague of mine and every now and again he'd bring her into work. Calm down. She'd stay in the car, which I thought was a bit odd, and then I said, oh, let her out, let's play with her on the grass. He went, oh no, she doesn't like people. Go, okay, Mr Pumpkin. <laughs> well, he was saying if they couldn't find somebody else who was prepared to take her on, they were, they were considering the, the, the worst option of all of, uh, of having a put down. What you doing? Don't do that. I thought, give her a, a different environment different person, maybe the behaviour will change with time. And that's what I was hoping. <laughs> We've learnt to live with each other in a state of ignorance. Uh, if I try and interact with her, she'll growl at me or she'll show her teeth or she'll bark and spin. So we just have a very um, apart relationship, unless I'm playing with her toys. Just gonna go again. <laughs> When I had my last dog, we would sprawl out on the settee at night watching the telly or reading or anything like that, and he'd be lying on top of me, just snuggled in beside me looking for some fuss. Why have a dog that you can't even stroke? Where's the companionship in that? Oh, hello. Can Graham... Come on in. Thank you very much. ..turn things around? Hello, come here then. She's cute. Oh, yeah, she's lovely until you touch her. All right. Yeah. So how long have you had her then? I've had her two years next month. OK. I took her from an old work colleague of mine who was experiencing the same problems. Right. And they'd just reached the end of the tether and I couldn't see a healthy dog put down. No. So... Oh, bless you. We need to have a little look at what's going on. Do you mind showing me? Yeah, sure. Boots. Come here, then. When Debbie reaches out... Oh. Boots kicks off. <laughs> it's like somebody flicked a switch there. It's intimidating. Mm. Makes me feel like she, you know, she doesn't care about me, she doesn't love me at all. Has there ever been a time when you've been able to stroke her, then? I'm allowed to, begrudgingly, <laughs> stroke her when I feed her. Oh, right. And with the muzzle on. Oh, right. Yeah. OK, let me have a little look at that, just see what it looks like. That, that might give me a clue as to what's going on in the head. Oh. Got me. With the muzzle on, Boots appears to be far more compliant. Good girl. But there's more to this than meets the eye. Her ears are all a bit like this, her tail's down, and she's licking lips, isn't she? Yeah. She's not a happy dog, is she? It's interesting, though, she's compliant. She's not fighting, yeah? Then Graham spots a vital clue. Oh, that's interesting. She's turning her bum towards you. Interesting. I just know there's a sweet dog in there trying to come out. It's just a terrible shame for both of them that Boots won't sort of explore that feeling of being stroked, you know? Right. She clearly doesn't like being touched. Yeah. And she's found a brilliant method of preventing it. She just, she's horrible. <laughs> But when the muzzle came out, I thought she'd fight against it, you know, and you were there with your hand and she's like, actually, <laughs> would you mind? You know, that feeling there, that tiny little glimmer 
of her going, maybe I'd like to explore this. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have more of that curiosity. That'd be great. What's this then? To encourage Boots's curiosity. It's all right. It's all right. Good girl. Graham's keen to recreate the magic moment where she felt most at ease. Good girl. That means starting with the muzzle on. Can you give her a little tickle while she... Yep. There you go. There you go. And stop. <laughs> Need to stop before she's rounded. Right, OK. Desperate to bond with Boots. Never go. Debbie's being too hands-on. So the secret is a little bit, that's yeah. it. If you keep going, keep going, she starts to growl, yeah. we're going to end up making it worse and worse. I know it's so tempting because you must be yeah, thinking... I don't get to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do more. But if you do loads too soon, yeah. it'll come crashing down. Good that's it. Girl. And stop. So I like this because your hand's just hanging there naturally and she's like... Do that again, maybe? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? With some guidance from Graham... That's enough. Debbie nails the timing. Look at this! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And she's learning how to play hard to get. That's creating that desire. It's like, oh, but I want more. This is being driven by you now. It is, it's brilliant. She's got such a soft head. Yeah. And the dog. <laughs> <laughs> she looks chilled. She does. Yeah. You're right. You look relaxed now. With Boots looking calm... There we go. ..it's time to test Graham's theory. Good. Little tickle. But will she be as relaxed with the muzzle off when she's free to snap at Debbie's fingers? Little tickle. Well, isn't that lovely? Hey? Yay! Ah. <laughs> oh, clever girl. Isn't that lovely? There. How's that feel? Oh, it's fabulous. <laughs> she, wants, she really wants more. Look at that. With a newfound connection, this terrier shows Debbie... So beautiful. ..she's no longer tough as old boots. Really pleased with this. Yeah, me too. So um, we'll quit while we're ahead and we leave her just wanting more. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Lovely. Well, I'll love you and leave you. So, Fantastic. Uh, right. you, you've been amazing, you have. Some dogs, you know, you remember forever. I think she might be she one. She might be one of them, yeah. Yeah, you're amazing, you <laughs> Right, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. See ya. Well, that's gone really well. Boots is coming back for more again and again and again. It's great. I mean, we've gone from a dog who didn't want to be touched to a dog who's almost addicted to it. I mean, <laughs> she wants attention and fuss. It's, it's unbelievable. What more can you say? A huge difference to my life. A huge difference.